That word faith is a very powerful word. Sometimes people use their faith for the wrong reasons and they're using faith in things that are only going to perish. But when your faith is in God, you are victorious because you're putting your trust in the Lord. And when you put your trust in the Lord, He honors it and He blesses you. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 And without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. So put your faith in the Lord. Don't put your faith in this world. Don't put your faith in your money, in your strengths, in your gifts, in your talents, and most of all, in other people. When you put your faith in God, you will be victorious because your faith is in Him. Brothers and sisters, there is nothing more powerful than trusting in the God who is living. No matter what it looks like, no matter what people say, when you put your trust in God, you will be blessed. And the ultimate test is trusting in God when it's time to take your last breath so that you will hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. Matthew chapter 25, verse 23. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter the joy of your Lord. And without faith, we cannot please God. And the scripture is clear of that. James chapter 1, verse 2 through 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Brothers and sisters, sometimes God allows things to happen in our lives so that we can be closer to Him. The situations draw us closer to Him because when everything is good, it's easy to forget about God. But when things are going bad, it's more easy for us to run to God because we are unable to fix it on our own strength. We need the Lord to pull us through. So brothers and sisters, do not be discouraged in whatever it is that you're going through. Know that this will be an opportunity for you to practice your faith and to give glory to God and for people who are watching you. Because believe me, when you say you're a Christian, all eyes are on you. People are waiting for you to fail. They're waiting for you to mess up. And most of all, they're waiting to have an excuse not to put their faith into God. But when you pull through and you trust in the Lord, your actions speak louder than words. No matter what people say or think, the world needs to see real Christians who are putting their faith in God on a daily basis and most of all in situations that are beyond our control. The older I get, the more I realize I am not in control. And the older I get, the more I realize how quick life can be over. James chapter four, verse 14. How do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like the morning fog. It's here a little while, then it's gone. Brothers and sisters, the world lacks faith in the Lord. But for those of us who put our faith in God, we are His personal treasures, the Bible says. Malachi chapter 3, verse 16 through 17. Then those who feared the Lord talked with each other, and the Lord listened and heard. A scroll of remembrance was written in His presence concerning those who who feared the Lord and honored His name. On the day when I act, says the Lord Almighty, they will be my treasure possession. I will spare them, just as a father has compassion and spares his son 
who serves Him. Father, I pray whoever's watching this, that they will be blessed, Lord. That no matter what they're going through, Lord, that you will strengthen them, encourage them, give them hope, and most of all, give them peace. Father, I pray that they would have victory by your Spirit. I pray, Lord, that they would have peace, that they would have blessings, and that they would have a life filled with abundance from you, God. Lord, I just pray that you would watch over them, no matter what their situation is, and that, God, that you show your love to them on a daily basis. I ask it and believe it in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be blessed, brothers and sisters, because the Lord is with you.